hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you to everyone who's been watching i really appreciate so today i want to share with you guys what we ate for 24 hours while in isolation we've been eating a lot but this is just what we ate for the three square meals and i want to share with you all so for breakfast we had fried plantain eggs and um custard okay so that is me just cutting the custard and doing prepping the meal to get ready for breakfast <laughs> just frying the plantain and you know getting ready for breakfast for everyone for my family of five i have other people that live with me but they are all grown up so they make their food by themselves i only make for my immediate family <laughs> So that's it. So that's the custard my children like. We all like this custard for some reason. I don't know. We just like it. And I like to just have plastic spoon inside the custard so it doesn't get, you know, mesh, mush, muddy or mushy or whatever. Is that the right word? Like water doesn't get into it. So it doesn't get meshy, okay? So I keep that into it. But look, making custard for me is like writing an examination like this custard they just have a mind of their own sometimes they just mess someone up and i don't know if it's me but i never get it right like sometimes i make it, it comes out right sometimes i make it it doesn't come out right so i have just improvised whenever it doesn't come out right i'll just you know cook it on the fire whenever it comes out right i just enjoy so that's me making the custard and did it come out right guys you'll find out <laughs> as you can see they have the mind they have a mind of their own so i just have to cook it on the fire guys there's nothing i can do so that's me cooking the custard on the fire and the secret of cooking custard on the fire just make sure you turn it fast so it doesn't get um have like lumps in it so you turn it very fast it will still be smooth it won't have lumps in it so that's me just turning the custard on the fire and you can see it's solid and that's me making the egg i like using two plates to make it because i don't want to end up pouring if you know nigeria we have a lot of bad eggs so i don't want to end up pouring um bad egg and so i just put it in different plates and just continue so i'm frying the breakfast so just like so my kids don't like tomato and all those things inside their breakfast inside their egg so i just made the egg just with onion and salt so that's me sharing all their food and if you know i have five babies i have four babies three kids and one husband so that's my husband's plate that's my plate at the extreme i just like using the kids plate to eat because it helps me control my portion okay so that's my own at the end <laughs> So the baby of the house, I'm just adding hot water for the baby of the house, cold water to make um, her food get cold and mix it properly for the baby of the house. So as you can see, the baby of the house, her place is different from the other, other people's place because she's just a diva. So she always liked like this princess thing. So I try to, you know, go along with her. So I'm done with the breakfast and they are eating their food. Ooh, so that's us just praying and we're starting to eat this baby all my kids they like eating but this one is a problem she doesn't like eating so i have to start the meal for her before she will eat so i have to feed her a little persuade her before she will start eating by herself so she doesn't like eating so i have to force her force her <laughs> so i'm done with that part so now she's feeding herself as you can see, and that's yeah, Diary, Diary, my son. I have three kids in case you don't know. That's my first me. child, Stephanie. Stephanie. Stephanie is being a big girl, man. <laughs> so I was just holding her and saying, you got to just say proper hi. Must still be like, like that. That's Diary. Yeah, what's on your feet? My son. So those are just my three kids, Stephanie, Diary, and Joanne. Mm. 
So, we are just having the breakfast at this point. I think yeah. breakfast is over. So, we're making lunch right now. And you know, every Nigerian home, gari and soup is the lunch, the most preferred lunch. So, that's we making lunch. Please don't mind my quarantine clothes. Um, this afternoon, I was not just in the mood to dress fine. So, I just wore this stuff and just doing my thing okay and it was really hot so that's um me making the food so some people eat different things my kids does don't really like gary only the baby of the house likes gary she doesn't like it because she wants to eat it she just likes gary because she has to eat meat or chicken inside the soup so she would then keep the gary for you but the other kids, I have to force them to eat gari. And on this day, I was not just in the mood. So I decided to make just daddy's gari. And me, I don't eat gari like that. So I made mm -hmm. just daddy's gari. And I continued. I gave them leftover rice. So that's me making daddy's food. Yeah. So that's daddy's food. I'm making... So I'm just making his food and you know getting ready. So some afternoon everybody just eats whatever they want or whatever is available. So at this time I was not just in the mood to eat Gary because I am not a Gary person. We are trying to be fit, okay? Warm. We don't want to eat too much Gary to be fat. <laughs> so I'm just making daddy's food. So after I finish making his food. I will have to go make for the kids. So at this point, I finished making his food. I served him his food. There was time for the kids' lunch. Okay. So we have um, coconut rice we made the previous day for dinner. So we're just using the leftover to eat for lunch. And I just fried plantain just to garnish the rice because my kids are very dramatic with food. If it's not looking nice, they are not going to eat. I don't know where they got that from. So, these are chicken. I, I'm not really frying them. I have them fried already in the fridge. So, I'm just trying to defrost them and then put it in their rice. So, this is the coconut rice we made the previous night. And I'll just add the chicken and the plantain into it. And food is ready. So, the baby of the house is having gari and soup because... She just like picking out stuff from the soup to eat. I don't know. She just finds pleasure in digging soup and picking, poking her fingers in the soup. Not because she wants to eat that soup. Because I, mean, I can't even see what she eats. So, lunch was over. It was time for dinner. Yeah, dinner. So, when I was making dinner, I realized there was no stew in the house. Or we were almost exhausted so it was not like stew was not completely not in the house but it was just remaining small and I already bought fresh tomatoes and some stuff I was going to use for stew so why I was just I didn't want to give myself too much work so while I was making dinner I was also making stew so I decided to make just a simple dinner so that I would reserve my energy to make stew and one thing about me in making food is i like to make food in large quantity as much as i enjoy cooking for my family i am not that person that want to just spend my whole life in the kitchen so as much as i would like to curtail how many minutes or, or hours or days i get into the kitchen i still enjoy cooking so i try to cook in very large quantity so that i you know save my time of being in the kitchen so this is me just making dinner so i just decided to make them a simple dinner just um fried baked beans hot dogs and bread and they'll make it into a sandwich by themselves okay so that's me just adding pepper and then that's the baked beans i'm going to add into the fry pan or the saucepan whatever you call it so that's it me just frying the baked beans. Stir 
I like adding pepper because I don't like being beans without pepper. So, you know, we're Africans. We like pepper. Fair, fair. So, that's me just sharing the beans for the kids. And putting the hot dog, sausage. Some people call it sausage. Hot dog, whatever you call it. And then I'm just going to add a slice of bread for them. They can turn it into sandwich by themselves. So the times when I don't feel like, you know, stressing myself in the kitchen, this is what I just give them for dinner. So this is me trying to make hot chocolate coffee tea, we call it in Nigeria. So I always make food to the last, like mix everything for the baby of the house. But the aunties of the house and the uncles of the house, they make their stuff by themselves, okay? So I'm just trying to see if the temperature is okay. That's why you see me carrying. So I'm done. I'm just going to mix it more for her. So it's comfortable for her to consume. And food is ready. And so the bigger babies will come and get their own. That's Darren's hand. And that's Stephanie getting her own food. And she's going to add some cold water to her food. I'm going to make her food by herself. So this makes us I'm done with dinner. So I'll just concentrate on making this stew right now. So I can pack them in the fridge. So when I make stew like this, sometimes it carries us a week or two, depending on the size of stew I make. So, but this one I think will carry us a week plus. So that's a, those are the spices I use: thyme, curry, and. Um, ginger and nutmeg i just like those ones for my stew it gives it a good taste so these are all the tomato um shombo and pepper i'd already cooked and just poured it into that rubber testy tummy if you're watching my videos you know i love testy tummy so that's me um stirring the stew you see the massive pot please don't laugh my pot <laughs> I just like it. I use this pot for everything, for soup, for stew, whatever, sometimes rice. So I just put them in the fridge and it lasts us for a long time, for a week or more. Okay, so those are the meals. Thank you so much for watching. Until I see you in that video, don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.